Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I want to show you guys how to make a simple turtle color wheel. Now, color wheels are very important because they show us all of our colors and they also show us what colors go together, what colors can make new colors, and also what colors do not go together. Now, a couple things you guys are going to need for this project. You're gonna need something to draw with, like a pencil. You need an eraser, a ruler. You need some markers or crayons. And you need something to color with. You can use your markers or crayons. I'm actually gonna use paint. So you can use things like watercolor paint or anything like that. And something that I like to have, which is optional, is something circular to trace. So that way we get a nice circle for our color wheel. Now, color wheels are very easy to make. And I wanna show you how to make the first one. I'm actually going to be using a permanent marker to make this just because I want to make sure that you can really see my lines. Now, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna put your circle in the middle of your paper. This is not the middle. This is not the middle. This is not the middle. The middle is going to be right there in the center. Now, I like to hold this down with one hand and I hold my drawing tool in my other hand that I write with. And the best thing to do is to keep this pointing up to the ceiling. If you have it at like an angle like this, it's not going to work as well. So have it straight up and down. Just start in one spot and trace all the way around until you get to the end. And when you lift up, you have a perfect circle. Now, this is the part where it's really important to use a pencil, but I'm going to be using my permanent marker still. You wanna find the middle of your circle and put a small dot right there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make six little triangles inside of our circle. What I like to do is I like to take my ruler and put it right on top of my dot. And I wanna be able to see the dot a little bit. A lot of people wanna do this and that's not gonna give you an even line. So put it right on the dot just so you can see it a tiny bit and make sure your ruler is nice and straight. Next, you're going to draw a straight line down. Make sure your pencil or marker is right up against the ruler and draw a straight line down. The next step is we are going to make a big X that goes through this. And we wanna to try to make the triangles about the same size. They don't have to be perfect. So the first thing you wanna do is put your ruler at a diagonal. And once again, we wanna see just a little bit of that dot. And you just draw your line like this. Then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm gonna put my ruler right on there and draw my line right across here. And now I have six little triangles for my color wheel. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're gonna turn this into a turtle. So this is really easy. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna draw a big smiley face down here. So start right here and draw a great big smiley face just like this, or a big letter U. Now we're gonna put a face on here. The first thing I'm going to do is draw two big circles for the eyes. And then I'm going to add two big black dots in here for the pupils. And you can have these going anyway. Then I like to add two small dots for the nose. And I'm going to give my turtle a nice big smiley face. Next, let's make the feet. We want to have four feet on our turtle. So I'm going to make a little bump like this. I'm going to put one up here. I'm going to draw another one right here. And then one more right up here. And finally, at the top, I'm going to draw a triangle for my tail. 
And you can do fun things on here. You can give your turtle toes and kind of whatever you want to. But there is your turtle color wheel. Now we get to move to the fun part and that is actually adding some color on here. Now the first thing we wanna do is we wanna mark off where all of our colors are going to go. And this is going to be very, very helpful, especially when you are starting out. That way you know exactly where everything goes. So I'm going to take out my markers and I only need six of them. I need red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple or violet. I like to start with red because red is my favorite color. You wanna take your red marker and on one of these triangles, go ahead and make a small red dot, big enough that you can see. Next, I'm going to take my orange marker and I'm going to put it on either side of my red dot. You can start here or here. I'm just gonna start here and do the same thing. Next, you wanna take your yellow and put your yellow dot right next to your orange dot. Next, you're gonna use green. Put a green dot right next to your yellow dot. Then you're going to use blue next to your green. And finally, you're going to use your purple or your violet right there in the last one. So it should go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. And you can always think of it using Roy G. Biv. Stands for the first letter in all of the colors. Now, our next step is we want to start coloring these. Now, like I said, I'm gonna be using paint, but you guys can use anything. You can use crayons, you can use markers, you can use whatever you want to. Now, when we begin coloring, you can choose whatever you want to use. I'm going to actually use some watercolor paint and I like to use these liquid watercolors because they're really good for blending and mixing the colors. Now, I'm only going to use three colors right now and I'm going to use our three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. These are the three colors that make up all the other colors. If we didn't have these three, we would not have any other colors. There'd be no pink, there'd be no orange, there'd be no brown, there'd be nothing. So we're gonna use these colors. And when you paint with these, you wanna get a lot of water on your brush and then just kind of mix it up in here. You can even get a little bit of paint, do a quick dip in the water, and then just wipe off the extra. Now I'm gonna start with red and I'm gonna paint it in this red triangle. Something easy that you can do first when painting is use the tip of your brush and brush it right around the edge. I always say you wanna act like you're petting a little puppy or kitten. You don't wanna give your paintbrush a bad hair day like this and smash it down. You just wanna use the tip and just go right around the edge. Get a little bit more paint, a little bit of water, wipe off the extra, and you're just going to paint right around here. Now, once you get around the edge, then you can start painting inside of here and you just wanna fill up the entire triangle with your red paint. So I'm gonna get a little more and just kind of fill this in and get all of your little white spots. Now, you wanna do this with blue and yellow. Now, my brush has red paint on it. You don't wanna dip it in this color or this color, especially not the yellow because it's gonna mess it up really bad. So you always wanna wash your brush. Make sure you push, push your brush all the way to the bottom, wipe off some of the extra, and then get some of your next color. So I'm gonna get some yellow. And then you can do the same thing, just kind of spread it around the edge first and then paint it in the middle. So I'm gonna do this to the yellow and the blue. Okay. So once you're done with that, you're gonna have three triangles that are colored and they're gonna be your three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Now our next step is we want to paint these three colors. Now if you're using something like crayons or markers, you can just, you can just use the orange, purple, and green to color it in. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna be mixing my colors with the paint. Now, I've got a nice little paint tray here that has a couple extra spots to mix some colors. Now, 
If I didn't have these little dots here to tell me what color goes where, I could always use these colors. So when I look at this, if I want to find out what goes in this empty triangle right here, I'm going to look at the two colors that are right next to it. So to figure out what this is, I need to mix red and yellow together. And whatever color I get, I'm going to put it right there. So what you want to do is you want to take some red paint and you want to put it in your tray. So I'm going to get a little bit more and I'm just going to kind of spread it around in here. Now my brush is dirty again, so I want to wash it off before I get another color. So I want to mix it with the yellow. So I'm going to get some yellow paint here and I'm going to stir it up right into here. Now I need a little bit more yellow, but my brush is dirty again. I don't want to dip it in here, so I have to wash it off again. Get some more yellow paint and then mix it up in here. And I want to do this just one more time to see what color I get. And when I do this this last time, I get a nice orange color right here. So I, this, this is telling me that red and yellow are going to make orange. So then I paint it the same way. I'm going to brush it right around the edge using the tip of my brush, just like you're petting a little puppy or kitten. You don't want to go outside the line, so stay in the lines the best you can. And just kind of fill it in. Now I'm going to do this with these next two triangles. So same thing. I need to mix red and blue to figure out what color is going to go here. So I'll start off by taking some red and putting some red in here. Then I'm going to wash off my brush, get a little bit of blue. I won't need a ton because the blue is really dark. And when I mix this up, I get a nice purple. Now this isn't going to be a super bright purple. It's actually going to be a little bit darker than what you're used to. So if you want a little bit lighter, you can always try mixing a little bit more red in there just to kind of brighten it up. But it's going to be a pretty deep purple. Then I want to figure out what goes right here. So same thing. I'm going to mix my blue and my yellow to figure out this color. So I'm going to take some blue, put it right here. Get just a little bit more. Then I'm going to wash off my brush. And I'm going to need lots of yellow because this blue is really dark. And you can see once you start mixing it, you get that nice shade of green. But I want a little bit brighter green. So I'm going to add some more yellow. And I'm going to do this one more time. And look at that. I get a nice shade of green right there. So I'm going to go and I'm going to fill in this green and purple section right here with my new colors that I just made. And then once you're done painting your triangles, you have this really cool looking color wheel. You have your three primary colors, your red, yellow, blue, and then you have these three new colors, green, orange, and purple, and those are your secondary colors. And they call them secondary because you get them by mixing two primary colors together. Now, if I forget what color makes what, I can look at my color wheel and see that red and yellow will make orange, yellow and blue make green, and red and blue are going to make purple or violet. Now the next step is we want to paint our turtle. So I have a really nice green here that I made. So I could use this green for my turtle or if you want to make it kind of fun, you could do something else. And you can also add some details in here like some little squiggly lines for some blue water. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this real fast. And there you go, once you are all done painting your turtle legs and head and tail and you add a little bit of water, you have a really cool, fun looking turtle color wheel. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I hope you guys got to learn a few things about colors. And we're gonna do a lot of different color videos, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. And remember, this is a great tool that you guys can now use 
to find all of your colors. Thanks for watching, everybody.